Hey Buff Dudes and Girls, check out the new Buff hoodie we just put in our store. It fits great and it's soft as a baby's <laughs> Check it out, link in description. Okay, on to the video. We're starting a new series, it's called The Beginner's Guide to the Gym, and our first episode is gonna be on fear. There's an old German proverb, fear makes the wolf bigger than he is, and that really applies to the gym, especially for the ones who are just going for the first time. It can be kind of a scary place. So today we'll be going over some really quick tips and tricks on how to make the experience a little bit more enjoyable so it becomes a place you'll come to time and time again and reap all those beautiful gains. Let's get started. We're going to start this list off with working out from home. This is a great one if you're still feeling a little insecure, maybe a little uncomfortable, all those people, busy place, weights clanging, maybe it throws you off a little bit. Working out from home is great because you can work on your form, you can try different exercises out, and you don't feel stupid. I mean, unless maybe you're cat or dog is watching you, but other than that, you're gonna feel really at ease. There's lots of online tutorials nowadays to help you get into the habit. We have some ourselves. I've included the links in the description, so if the gym just doesn't feel right for you, try working out at home, and then as you get more comfortable, you can eventually yeah. move on to the gym itself. Mm, body weight, baby. So you've been working out at home and you're feeling great, but now you wanna venture out a little bit. You're finally ready to go to a commercial uh -huh. gym. So we're gonna move on to step number two, which is gonna be choosing the gym that's right for you. And a few things factor into this. It's not only gonna be location, because you want something that's convenient for you. If you gotta travel way too far, it might become a little bit of a hassle, and then it breaks the whole point of why you're going to the gym in the first place, to make it a routine, to stay consistent. And the second part of this tip is gonna be finding a gym which caters to your interests. If you're not interested in CrossFit, you're probably not gonna to wanna to go to a CrossFit gym. If you're not interested in powerlifting, or maybe you are, you'll wanna seek out that specific kind of gym. So not only find a gym which caters to your interests, also find one that's conveniently located near you. Number three on our list is gonna be avoid rush hour. So you found a gym that works for you, but now you wanna find the proper time to go. Typically, the gym is the busiest between 5 to 8 p.m. That's when everybody's off of work and school. They're all trying to do the same thing you are. It's really crowded. All the weights, all the machines, they're being used. It can lead to a pretty bad time. So what we do personally, we'll go to the gym about 5, 6 a.m. in the morning. It's a little bit of a hassle, especially for those of you who aren't morning people, myself included. But once you get into the routine, it feels great. You feel like you're beating the day, the sun hasn't even risen, and you're already in there getting things done. And it's also a great stress reliever because you have it out of the way. So later on, you don't have to think, ugh, I haven't even gotten my workout in because it's already finished. So if you can, avoid that rush hour and you're gonna have a good time. Number four on our list is gonna be game plan. There's nothing worse than walking around the gym with no idea of what you're doing. You're just a mindless zombie. You're going in there, you're doing a few curls, you're doing a little bench. I'm sure for those of you who have been going to the gym, you see those people time and time again. They're in there and it doesn't really seem like they're accomplishing much at all. Don't be one of those people. Grab a workout plan online, maybe a video series, follow it from beginning to end. It's a great sense of completion and you also feel like you're in there and you're getting things done. And the best thing, you're gonna see real results. So definitely take into account this tip. Game plan, game plan, game plan. It's only gonna help you out in the long run. Number five on our list is gonna be learning its proper form. Now, if you started your journey working out from home, you may have already got acquainted with exercises such as squats, pull-ups, a lot of the major compounds that you're gonna find in a lot of workout plans. But if you haven't, fear not, because when you're in the gym, it's about you. Don't look around thinking, wow, all these people look like they know what they're doing, so I must need to too. That's not what it's all about. It's about you focusing on you. So start with lightweight, practice that proper form, read up on tutorials, and avoid being that guy. We've all seen them. If you go to the gym, they're swinging the weights, they're not going below parallel, and they're just not getting a lot done. And also, they're probably going to injure themselves, which is something you never wanna do. So don't just practice until it's perfect, make perfect practice until it's perfect. You're in the gym, you're working out, you're doing great. Now you wanna avoid the trap of comparing yourself to others, especially in the day and age of social media, either in the gym, online, you can see many amazing physiques and go, oh my God, I put in all this hard work and I look like garbage compared to these people. Believe me, we've been running this channel for a couple years now, we've got over a million subscribers, and it's still easy for me to get self-conscious. That's just really one of the things that's gonna happen from time to time. But what you wanna do is have tunnel vision, focus on you and your specific goals, and even though it could be slow going, 
just make it a habit of getting there. You wanna be consistent. It's very important and not lose sight of what you're trying to achieve. Set both small and large goals and you're gonna get there, believe me. Number seven on our list is gonna be a good workout partner. A workout partner can be beneficial for many different reasons. They're gonna push you harder, they're gonna to help to spot you during difficult compound exercises, which is really a lifesaver, and they're also gonna hold you accountable. So if you say you're gonna show up at 6 a.m. and you know they're gonna be there, well that's what's gonna help you to jump out of bed, get there on time, and get that workout done. Me and Brandon, we're brothers, it's pretty easy for us. It may not be as easy for some of you, so if that's not available, just find a kick-ass music playlist. I can't tell you how much motivation that can bring. You find that music that really hits you, you'll get your workout done in no time, and if you do need spotting, hey, sometimes you gotta bite the bullet and just ask somebody to spot. It could be a little uncomfortable at first, but you never know, you may find a future badass training partner. Yeah. Last on our list, and this is an important one, it's practicing gym etiquette. Half the videos on our channel are probably some comedic form of gym crimes, gym diseases, what not to do at the gym, and it's for good reason. This is a public place, there's a lot of people using it, and you wanna try your best to be respectful for others. That could be re-racking weights, cleaning the equipment once you're done with it, making sure that you're not taking up too many machines at the same time. Just try to be respectful of others. It's a pretty easy one, but it goes a long, long ways. So there you go. That's eight easy tips for overcoming your fear of the gym in our beginner series. I hope you liked it. And if you want more of this beginner series, please let us know. And also what kind of subject matters? Should we focus on macros? Should we focus on beginner workout routines? Let us know, we'd be happy to make more. And until next time, stay buff.